absolutely fantastic. The Spiral King is here to squash out the human resistance with his mech, CCS Toys, Mortal Mind series, Lozingon. CCS Toys has done yet another fantastic job bringing to life their stylized take on an iconic super robot. With a fantastic sculpt, paint apps, accessories, die cast, and a full range of articulation, Lozingon is another home run from CCS Toys. Let's jump right in, starting with the scale. Lozingon is a fantastic piece of Goken standing 10 and a half inches tall and 10 inches head to tail. Lozingon looks fantastic with our other CCS Toys figures, as to be expected. Lozingon also looks great next to our larger Chogokin figures from various lines. The scale checks out. Now let's see how well Lozingon can move. Starting with the head, we can look up, down, left, right. Now you notice the head joint is a little tight. If you feel too much resistance, make sure to be careful. In the neck, we can lean very far forward and fairly far back. The shoulders have a great range of rotation. They can rotate a full 360 degrees. The arms can come up higher than 90 degrees. Something that's cool, as we move the arm up, you can see all this armor kind of sliding in and out of the shoulder joint, which is very nice. We have a bicep swivel. We have fantastic, solid, double-jointed elbows. Now, the first time you bend these elbows, it can be a little difficult and it feels like they can't go much further than this, but if you push forward a little bit more carefully, they can go all the way up, which is very nice. We have a forearm swivel. The fists are on straight pegs, but the joint is actually a hinge. We can kind of tilt this and spin around pretty freely. For the upper chest, so we can lean forward this much, closing those teeth, which is very nice backward this much and lean side to side. In the waist, we can twist side to side quite a bit, but I'm not really sure if we can do a full 360. I don't want to risk anything here. Moving down to the legs, we can actually flip up these skirt pieces here to give us the full range of motion in the legs. The front piece can actually tilt up and come forward a bit, which is nice. We can kick forward this much, backward this much, to the side this much. We have a thigh swivel. We have fantastic double jointed knees. And as we bend the knees, check out the engineering here, all the panels sliding in and out, forward and back, very cool. The feet can tilt and swivel. The toes are articulated. And then finally, we have our long, sharp tail that has great movement. At the base, we can rotate very freely. At the first joint, we can actually swivel this here and it bends forward and back. Then at the third joint, it can swivel. We can flip this blade up and down. But I did notice it's a little tight here, so do be careful. Lozengon has a solid and hefty feel to him thanks to his internal and external die cast parts. Weighing in at a little over one pound of pure Goken awesomeness, this figure is very solid and sturdy. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Lozingon is absolutely fantastic. At the top of the head, we have our sharp blade-like gunmetal horn. The head has a sharp, multi-paneled armored sculpt with dark blue, gunmetal, and red paint apps. The darker gunmetal paint apps have a slight metallic effect to them. The eyes have a sharp angular amber sculpt with a black outline. The face has an angular off-white sculpt. The chest has a bulky armored sculpt with red indentations on the traps and on the top of the chest. We have blue armor accents on the sides. If we remove the faceplate, we can see the full awesome gunman's face. The eyes have a sharp amber sculpt with red panel lines. The teeth have a white sharp sculpt with grayish gums. Inside of the mouth, we have black armor with a red accent line. The arms have a fantastic armored sculpt with gunmetal and dark gunmetal paint apps on the biceps and forearm guards. The tail has a long blade-like sculpt with red accents at each joint. The legs have a detailed armored sculpt with gunmetal, dark gunmetal, and red accents. I really love all the details here in panel lines. The feet have a large armored detailed sculpt. For accessories, First up, we have our four pairs of hands. We have a pair of open hands, chopping hands, gripping hands, and a pair of relaxed hands. 
Next, we have our cool stand with a large base. On the front of the base, we have the Gurren Logan logo and Lozengon with a gold treatment. The stand comes with two support rods, a stationary and articulated rod base, and three cradles that easily plug into Lozengon's underside. Next, we have our small gunmetal knee drill that easily plugs into the knee. To kick it up a notch, we have a cool translucent purple swirling effect part that can plug on top of the knee drill. Next, we have our throne with a fantastic detailed sculpt. I really love the intricate pattern sculpted in here. The paint apps and weathering really nails the solid stone look of the throne. Finally, we have our massive set of drills so we can impale our foes. Let's arm Lozengon up first and impale those who resist. Now that we have Lozengon fully drilled up, he looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see, there are a ton of drills, but setting this up is very easy. Each drill has a very nice long gunmetal detailed sculpt. I love the included effect parts for the feet and shoulder blades that you can also plug drills into. I can't stress enough how cool this looks. If I would have gotten to this figure earlier, then maybe Lozengon could have ended up being figure of the year. Now, let's do some city building. As a whole, Lozengon turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is well done, the paint-ups are clean, the accessories are fantastic, we have plenty of die cast, and Lozengon is fully poseable. I knew CCS Toys was going to knock it out of the park yet again with Lozengon. And as you can see, I was right. I absolutely recommend picking up Lozengon. Now, how much does Lozengon cost? I imported my CCS Toys Mortal Mind series Lozengon figure from Hobby Link Japan for $255. Speaking of which, Lozengon is in stock right now at Hobby Link Japan. Use the link on screen right now and pick your Lozengon figure up today. To see more CCS toy reviews or learn about the buildings I use in my reviews, click the links on screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more absolutely fantastic figure reviews. Be sure to follow me on social media, definitely follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next review.